My name is Anthony Lavery, I'm a research assistant at Imperial College London and I led this work on active commuting and so that's how people get to work and their cardiovascular risk factors. Physical activity is important uh, for a number of reasons and so we know that people who are physically active are less likely to have things like cardiovascular conditions, less likely to have certain types of cancers uh, and less likely to have mental health problems. But one of the problems really is it's difficult for people to kind of build physical activity into their daily lives and you know they might say well you know whatever I'm working I'm busy and so on and it's difficult say to go to the gym a lot. Um, so what we have looked at is really whether how people get to work and the type of low level physical activity you can build into your daily life is associated with uh, reduced cardiovascular risk. In this study, uh, so we look, the data comes from a survey called Understanding Society. So it's a quite big survey of the four countries in the United Kingdom. Uh, and so our final sample was about 20,000 people. Uh, and so essentially we just looked at how people got to work. So we had four categories of uh, sort of inactive transport. So that's people who are driving to work, getting taxis and things like that. Uh, people getting public transport to work. So you know that's like uh, things like the London Underground, trains, buses and so on. Uh, and then people who walk to work and people who cycle to work. Uh, and so essentially we've got this four-way categorization of how people get to work. And then we've just looked at how likely they are to be overweight, how likely they are to be obese, how likely they are to have high blood pressure, hypertension, and how likely they are to have diabetes. What we found uh, from doing this was uh, the first big thing was that there are wide variations across the regions of the UK in kind of the proportion of people using active travel to get to work. Uh, and so in London, for example, you see a very high sort of proportion of people using public transport to get to work and a higher proportion of people cycling to work, um, which you don't see in other places. And so the second thing really was that uh, you see some benefits even when people are getting public transport to work. Uh, so people who get public transport to work are less likely to be obese and less likely to be overweight than people who are using the car and inactive forms of getting to work. But So you've got these benefits of using public transport, but you've got added benefits of people walking or cycling to work. So people who cycle to work are less likely to have high blood pressure and less likely to have diabetes, and people who walk to work are less likely to have high blood pressure. So you've got these, you know, there's some basic benefits of using public transport, because we know that can increase how physically active you are, and there's some added benefits of these kind of more active forms, like walking and cycling to work. What we'd say from this really is that the, uh, you know, these wide variations across the UK suggest that you know, there's an element of infrastructure and investment that is kind of playing into how people get to work. And so London, we know, gets a lot of investment in this public transport system and so a lot more people get public transport and has been sort of active in promoting cycling, so you see a lot of people promoting cycling. Uh, and so really, I guess, we're saying, uh, you know, at a sort of governmental level and a sort of local and national level, uh, we're saying that you can sort of invest in these things to try and encourage people to be more active in their daily lives. And then secondly, to sort of people, uh, we would say that, you know, even if you're not sort of cycling 17 miles, of work, 17 miles a day to work, you can still see some benefits of, you know, even getting public transport. Uh, and so uh, we'd encourage people to be active in their journey to work. How do you get to work? Uh, I get the tube. Um, I used to walk to work uh, and then I moved uh, a lot further away and so now I get public transport to work uh, and I have to say uh, yeah getting public transport to work isn't quite as nice as walking to work but obviously walking to work isn't really a feasible option for everybody.